let us start with data sufficiency is x a negative number first statement says that 9x is greater than 10x then definitely x has to be a negative number so first statement alone is sufficient let us look at the second statement x plus 3 is negative if x plus 3 is negative then definitely x also should be negative so first statement alone will do second statement alone is also sufficient so any of the statements in any order will tell you yes x is a negative number so correct answer is option d if y is an integer is y cube divisible by 9 now first statement says that y is divisible by 4 now let us consider some values of y let us say y is equal to 4 if y is 4 y cube will not be divisible by 9 now let us consider another value for y let us say y is equal to 4 into 9 that is 36 if y is 4 into 9 y cube definitely will be divisible by 9 that is y itself is divisible by 9 so y cube definitely it should be divisible by 9 so if y is divisible by 4 y cube may or may not be divisible by 9 so first statement alone will not give you the exact answer maybe may not be look at the second statement y is divisible by 6 if y is divisible by 6 y should be divisible by 2 as well as 3 since y is divisible by 3 y cube should be divisible by 9 so second statement clearly tells you yes y cube will be divisible by 9 because y has to be divisible by 3 so second statement alone will do hence b is the right answer is n a composite number first statement says that n is divisible by 2 so possible values of n are 2 4 6 so on so n may be a composite number may not be a composite number composite number means uh, not a prime number so n may be prime may not be prime so uh, n may be composite may not be composite so first statement alone will not do look at the second statement n is divisible by 3 so possible values of n are 3 6 9 like that so n may be composite n may not be composite so first statement alone will not do second statement alone also will not do however if you include both the statements you will get that n is divisible by 6 if n is divisible by 6 then definitely it will be a composite number so with both you will get the correct answer as yes that is if n is divisible by 6 uh, then it will be a composite number hence c is the correct answer is n a composite number n is divisible by 12 if n is divisible by 12 it will be a multiple of 12 so then definitely it will be a composite number so first statement alone is sufficient look at the second statement n is divisible by 6 then again n will be a multiple of 6 and n will be a composite number so statement 1 alone is sufficient statement 2 alone is also sufficient so any of the statements in any order will tell you yes n is a composite number hence d is the right answer is n divisible by 100 n is divisible by 50 so possible values of n are 50 100 150 and so on so first statement alone will not do second statement says that n is divisible by 200 if n is divisible by 200 then definitely n should be divisible by 100 also so second statement alone will do hence b is the right answer